working components of factory machinery. They're designed to form metal into product parts or into devices for making product parts. High-tech industries require high-precision cutting tools. These are end mills, tools specifically designed for cutting and shaping metal. They're made from a very durable grade of steel, or from tungsten carbide, a metal even stronger than steel. Steel bars in their raw state are actually soft enough to be cut and shaped, but it takes loads of lubrication to cool the intense heat that metal-on-metal -metal friction generates. Using a giant bandsaw, they cut the bars into end mill size pieces called blanks. Workers turn each blank individually on a computer-guided metal lathe. First, they form a point on one end. Then they flatten the opposite end and drill a center hole. Then they trim the diameter to the required size. Next stop, a computer-guided milling machine. It works on three blanks at a time, carving helix-shaped ridges called flutes. The flutes run almost the full length of the blank. Once again, lubrication is essential to prevent overheating. This milling process transforms each blank into a tool. From this point on, the shorter smooth portion is called the shank, the longer fluted portion, the cutting end. Here's the same milling process again, but for a different model. Here are both models, before and after. Now they cure the steel using a two-step heat treatment process. The first stage hardens the metal using molten salt, salt that's been heated until it liquefies. They soak the tools in five progressively hotter salt baths, whose temperatures range from 650 to 1200 degrees Celsius. The second phase of heat treatment is a process called induction. They set each tool into a large metal coil. The coil's internal magnetic field generates intense heat, which softens the shank, making it more flexible. Now the finishing process. They run the shank against a grinding wheel whose grit is made of diamond particles. This gives it the strength to erode steel with a high degree of precision. They verify the final diameter using a digital micrometer. Then a robotic arm runs the tools one at a time through a high-precision automated grinding machine, this time to finish the cutting end. The machine uses diamond grinding wheels to grind the precise cutting angles and finalize the diameter. More complex tools go into this even more sophisticated grinding machine. It too uses diamond wheels and runs robotically. The end mills are now completed. This factory makes high precision cutting tools primarily for the aerospace and automotive industries, where precision is everything. So at each stage of the production process, the factory verifies measurements using various optical and digital instruments. This sensing probe conducts the final quality control test. It scans each and every finished end mill to ensure that the surface is as smooth as silk. These high-precision cutting tools are now ready to be put to work machining aluminum, titanium and different types of steel.